Today we're going to talk about the three reasons you keep missing shots. All right, three more reasons why you keep missing shots in pool. And this video is a bit more advanced than the previous one. But if you haven't watched the previous video, then make sure to check the link in the video description and in the top right of your screen. All right, let's start with the first reason why you keep missing shots. Here we're having this eight ball situation. And as you can see, we have a nice shot on the 11. And at the same time, we can actually solve that problem with the eight and the nine ball and get a nice position on a 15 ball. So I wanna check where I want to hit that eight ball. If I hit the top of the eight ball, the cue ball should come nicely. And we have a shot on the 15 ball. So I'm trying to hit that eight ball, focusing on the right spot, on the right cue ball path to open the cluster. Once I'm ready, I'm going down. I hit that eight ball really nicely, but as you can see, I missed the ball. And this is a very, very common reason that you are focusing too much on the cue ball and not on your actual task. Because your task obviously is when you're playing an offensive shot, your number one task is of course to make that object ball and don't open the cluster. And this happens very often that you just lose the focus, you focus too much on the cue ball and that way you miss the object ball completely. And this also happens to professional players, not only beginners. And this doesn't only happen when you have to open clusters. No, in this nine ball situation, we want to have a nice angle on the seven ball after playing the six ball. This means we want to stay on this side of the straight line to go into the rail and get a nice position on the eight ball. But we have a bit too much angle on the six ball. So of course, you could also try to stun into the rail and come out. But for some reason, you decided you want to try to hold the cue ball. And what happens most of the time, if you have just too much angle, I'm going to play low with right spin, trying to hold the cue ball. And you can see I missed too thick because I didn't want to hit any thinner because that way the cue ball drifts more over. And this is also a very common reason. So keep in mind when you're playing shots, your main focus is of course to make the object ball and cue ball is only the second test because you don't want to lose control by missing a shot. Reason number two, again, we're playing nine ball. We have to get from the six ball to the nine ball. Our plan is to play the six ball into this corner pocket and the nine ball obviously into this corner pocket. What we're trying to do is to actually stun the cue ball out of the rail into this area to have a really nice shot on the nine ball. But since we don't have a lot of angle on that six ball, we need to hit hard. So let me show you how this would look. It's just a center ball, by the way, and a pretty, pretty hard hit. And you can see this didn't turn out too good. Uh, too good. We misjudged the shot completely and uh, left a nice shot for our opponent. And the main problem with this shot wasn't that I was aiming wrong. The main problem was that I just was hitting way too hard. And whenever you have to hit or whenever you're hitting balls that hard, you really lowered your chances to actually make that ball. First of all, there will be a lot more inaccuracy in your stroke. The harder you hit, the more difficult it becomes to actually hit the right spot on the cue ball, to keep your arm in a straight line and so on. And the second reason is the pocket becomes a lot smaller because there is something called pocket speed. And this just means if you, for example, trying to um, shoot the six ball into this pocket, you hit the rail here and you hit really hard, then the six ball will get into here and rattle out of the pocket. But if you're hitting really soft, um, the outcoming angle won't be that shallow, but a bit more flat and you have a much higher chance to actually make that six ball. So when it's not required, try to hit at pocket speed. This means try to hit soft and uh, that way you will get more accurate and the pocket becomes actually bigger. And here in this example, there is actually no need to hit the cue ball that hard. Have a look what happens if you're just hitting a high ball and hit it really soft. The cue ball doesn't get into this area where we intended to, but have a look at this really simple nine ball. So there was actually no reason to try to stun the cue ball out of the rail into this area because this is a really, really makeable nine ball here. So next time you're in a situation like that and it's not required to hit the cue ball 100 miles per hour, then make sure to hit it soft because you higher your chances to actually make the ball.
All right, reason number three, and again, we're in this nine ball situation. We have two options here. We could either go for the offensive option, which means cutting the eight ball into here, just bring the cue ball a couple of rails in the best case into this position or into that position. Or the other option is just play a safety. This means sending the eight ball to the short rail, bringing the cue ball maybe towards here and have the nine ball as a blocker. Now imagine you're in a match, maybe you're playing with shot clock or maybe you took already a couple of minutes and you have to make a decision but you're not really sure what to do so let's say we decide to go for the offensive option so you're going down and you still have in your mind is this the right shot should i really play that shot but you still pull the trigger go for the eight ball and you you should miss it uh, i was trying to miss that ball uh, but you get what i mean so if you're not 100% convinced of what you are actually doing. And by the way, this was the perfect example for pocket speed. I hit the rail way too early, but because of that soft speed, we were able to make that shot. But what I was trying to tell you is, if you're not 100% convinced of what you're doing and that this is the right shot, then you're very likely to miss it, especially if you're down and still thinking about, well, I should have played the safety. Now we finally missed it completely then um, this won't uh, be successful very often. So the main message is whatever you're doing, if you're not in training, if you're in a match, the shot that you're choosing to play is the right shot, even if it isn't the right shot or even if it isn't textbook. But whenever you're doing something in pool, you have to be convinced this is the right shot selection and you have to commit 100% to that shot. Otherwise, you're very likely to miss the shot or do not have the desired outcome. Another a very common phenom phenomenon is, for example, you're not sure to get positioned towards here or towards here. Then what happens very often, you land exactly in between because you weren't committed and that way um, something in between happens. So just to show you how the safety would look in this situation, I'm going to play it real quick. So I'm just trying to craze the eight ball fin or a half ball hit. Bring it to the short rail and we have the nine ball as a possible blocker. In the best case, or if you want to make sure to not leave a shot because this was a bit risky, make sure to bring the eight ball towards here. Then it doesn't matter. If the cue ball leaks out behind the nine, you will never leave a makeable shot. The main message is commit to the shot that you're playing in a match. Whatever shot you're playing is the right shot. In training, it's something else, but in a match, be committed and 100% convinced of what you're doing. Okay, guys, I hope um, this was helpful for you. If you like this video, then leave a thumbs up, comment, uh, subscribe to my channel. Very important if you haven't watched the first episode of this um, series or this uh, type of video, make sure to check the link in the top right of your screen and in the video description. And that's it for today. So thanks for watching, guys. And as always, see you at the next lesson. Take care.